special element about the band is that it's a bass leader. Um, we are a typical jazz trio with a not typical bass player in the band. And because of that, the flavor is really special because I always tried. I don't know if I succeeded, but I always tried to play the instrument like a piano, a guitar, a horn player, and nothing like a bass player. So when I play my solos or play my parts, they always have another kind of a sound in a typical trio setting. This makes the piano and the drums sound different as well. So that's the special element. I don't think there's a trio like it in, in all of music, especially because Richard plays upright bass like a virtuoso. And the upright has a darker sound, and my bass has a higher, brighter sound. So the sonics don't impact. It's very distinct, and I think it's the most unique trio for that reason. Jeff is a wonderful musician and a great electric bass player and uh, he invited me to play with him and I'm it's, it's very happy that we're doing this. You know, it's, it's also good for both sides because I bring music which, which is more open so we do something a little bit different, so it's, it's, uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Miroslav listens, and I listen. And when you get two people who listen, you get two people who let the other person play, and you let the other person lay out. And he's a virtuoso, maybe one of the greatest in the world. And I bring my virtuosity. So when you get two virtuosos, you have to back off a little bit. You can't be like two boxers trying to be the winner. You have to be like two dancers helping each other dance. And when Miroslav and I play, the sounds of the instrument are so different that it's like two dancers that go like this and dance together. And that's what we hope to do tonight. I just grew as a musician on and matured as a person and as a musician. And basically I'm just continuing playing my music, which I basically started playing the, on the album Infinite Search before with the report. I started playing in a certain way. And basically I'm doing what I was doing before with the report. I'm just continuing and developing and growing it. I'm happy the way it ended and uh, because I've, I was set free to go my own way. You know, they went kind of a commercial direction, and, but I was never supposed to do this. I know that now for my own, for my being as a musician. So it was right. There is a saying in America, there is a music called soft jazz. I don't know if it's popular in Italy or Europe anywhere. Soft jazz is, to me, the music you play in the dentist office when they're fixing your teeth. Music. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I feel that way. We made a record contrary to soft jazz. So Richard one day said, it's like hard jazz. And then I said, well, yes, it's sort of like lumpy jazz. I don't know how to explain lumps, except when you get an oatmeal or a cereal in the morning, hot cereal, and you mix it, sometimes you find lumps. We call our music lumpy jazz because we don't have respect for titles. We only have respect for music. Titles for us are, we have no respect for it. So. I feel that the art should be left alone without businessmen coming into it and try to sell it. 
because it changes the face of musicians, it changes the, the, what they want to do, it changes their artistic approach, basically they are being pushed over in order to survive, to change their music, to, 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 to satisfy the recording company or, or make some sales. The art should not be depending on the, how many albums you sell, because we are not going anywhere and we are only going to fill the businessman's pocket with money. And this is not to me what the purpose of music or art is. So the day the businessman walk to the creative music is a very bad day for us. This is what I have to say, really, honestly. This, this is the way I see it. Yeah, the situation is, uh, maybe actually I was thinking the other day, maybe the internet will help the musicians to, to play the, the true music they want to because they're going to be able eventually to sell it through the web, right? So they won't be so much dependent on the recording company who is going to record them. So in this way, it might be beneficial to the art itself because the, the big businessman who's trying to fill their buckets with money using music will eventually kind of fall off, hopefully, and we will be free to play what we want and it will be accessible to public, you know?